Recently, I finally made the upgrade to Windows 7 64-bit edition. And what that allows is more access to RAM, essentially. And, um, well, pretty much everything changes with the audio plugins and with other programs. So I now have 64-bit Reaper. And I have mostly 64-bit plugins, except for a lot of these free plugins. If you notice, they have this x86 in parentheses. And what that means is they are 32-bit plugins. So when I open them, see what that does? It pops them up like this. Now, what will happen is, I'll cl so I'll close that. And let's bring up a 64-bit plugin. Um, all right, we'll just do ARC. So ARC, as you notice, stays within this window as it should be. Now, when I go to click on this, it pops up again, which now I got to close this out. Otherwise, see, when, when I click back and forth, I had to close this out. And then when I go back to it, it'll come out again. And if I'm just searching for a plugin, I might not want that to pop out. There's a way to disable this. And here's how you do it. You have to go. It's a one-time thing, but you got to do it for each plugin. You just can't do this all at all at the same time, unfortunately, to my knowledge. Um, so what do I have? I have the lead, 6505 lead. I'm going to right-click it, or click it. I don't even know if you, yeah, you probably don't have to highlight. You can just right-click it. Go to run as and go to embed bridge UI. And if you'll notice, it says may not work with all plugins and it's less crash resilient. That's uh, important to know. But what it does is now when I double click this, it's now embedded. But like the parentheses said, like the note said, this may be more likely to crash. So far, I haven't had any issues with it. And, you know, I, I prefer it to be contained within this window as I'm used to and have been used to ever since I've used Reaper. And uh, there you go. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.